Welcome to Simon Says Farms. This video is all about our studio rebuild. As you can see, I'm working in a room here that's pretty vacant, but kind of weird. We got a cathedral ceiling. The echo is really bad, if you can hear the echo. We used to use it as a gym, that's why there's a rubber floor. We're gonna leave the rubber floor that might soak up a little sound, but we're gonna turn it into that cozy feel of a living room. So if you've been with us for a while, we do a decent amount of live streams. Obviously we stream live in our barn 24 seven. You can check that out up here somewhere. If you wanna head over to that channel, if you've never been there. This is kind of our third studio right here. We used to stream from our barn. That was cozy and comfortable and people liked it. It was comfortable for the audience because it was where they met us. They met us in the barn. We did our Q and A's in the barn, but it got cold for us. And from a technology standpoint, it's very difficult for us to do. So we really don't do them there anymore. It's very difficult. So now we're up here in this studio or will be in this studio when I rebuild it. But um, we used to be on our living room couch. We did it there for a while, but again, the setup and breakdown every time we wanted to go live, uh, we might do a two, three hour live Q and A for you guys. But for us, it turned into a five, six hour day because of setup and breakdown. Then the dogs would knock things over and the kids are walking back and forth and it just wasn't comfortable. And again, this room wasn't really used for much. It's kind of a difficult room to furnish because of the way the ceilings, they're, they're nice, but from a video standpoint, they're not. So we're gonna build a complete fake wall here to make a nice backdrop for a comfy, cozy kind of living room studio setup. So I'm gonna tripod you guys, time lapse it, and we're gonna get to work. So I think that's it for today. Just a basic fake wall. And then we're gonna, we're actually using a fake, well, fake, a laminate wood flooring, very inexpensive. I mean, inexpensive for the options. I mean, some options are very expensive, but this was lower end, but it's gonna look real, real nice. It's gonna be like a hardwood floor. Background, that's coming next, possibly tomorrow, but I gotta make lotion tomorrow. I think Liz is doing website stuff tomorrow. Next is the walling for that hardwood and then maybe a couple little shelves for little knickknacks that some of the villagers send us. And then we bring in the old Facebook Marketplace couch and then reset up all the technology, the lights, the cameras, everything like that. And it'll be a nice, cute little, almost living room for you guys to hang out with us. And then behind it, this fake wall, there's like a little bit of storage so I can store extra lighting and things back behind the wall. See ya. Actually, I won't see you. This video is not over. Just stick around. All right, guys, it's time to start putting the real wall on here. The what's going to make it fancy. I actually have a piece of it right here. I lost my, I lost my razor. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it open. I don't even know if you can see me right now. But let me show you what it's going to look like. So there it is, you know, the hardwood floor, fake, fake hardwood floor, laminate, whatever you want to call it. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to go on there like that, but we don't want all the seams to match. So we're going to mix it up. We're going to basically get started. Alexa, play music. Okay, I'll admit I was wrong. I wasn't wrong because of the reason, but I was wrong. I thought I was gonna be able to glue it to the wall and build as I go. But the way the design works on these snap together pieces, it was gluing to the wall just fine. It would stick, but I couldn't get them to snap together to create a smooth surface. So I had to build it like a floor. It's all one big piece. Now I gotta cut that edge to make it straight and this edge over here to make it straight. 
and then lean it up against the wall. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So I think I'm in a pickle. I can't really do this on my own. But we just snapped a chalk line. You can probably see it right there. That'll create this edge to be straight. Hopefully it'll work. That's actually the bottom of the wall. The top edge, we're gonna have to do the same thing and then lean it up like this and glue it to the wall. I might put molding around the wall, which will A, hold this to the wall with a little glue and the molding will help, but it'll also clean up the edges. I just don't know what's gonna happen yet, but uh, it's time to cut the chalk line, straighten it out and continue. Ooh, I'll call you in a few. That's my help. They're gonna call me to see if they can help me out. Oh, that's not gonna work. That blade is, that blade is garbage. Woo! I think that almost started a fire. Back to the real saw. There we go. This has gotten to be very complicated, so it's too light to lift on my own. Um, logistically trying to coordinate some helps been a little difficult, but you know, that's okay. We're working, we're engineering a, a plan. So I ran three pieces of plywood behind it I ran this little strip over the top and screwed it into the plywood so it created like an L. So this whole floor is pretty much connected to all of that. Back here at the bottom where the plywood sticks out, you can't see it right here and in here and back there. The bottom of this strip of plywood actually sticks out the end right there about a half an inch with two little screws in it. So the floor can't fall off these, let's say three sleds. So now the plan is to lift it up to that wall somehow. That I haven't figured out. So I don't know, I'm not sure. I, I gotta think on this a little more. We got it halfway up there. Halfway? So oh, okay, halfway. three quarters of the way. I just don't know what's next. The wall is up, we got it up. It took a little effort. Took four people, but we did it. We got it into place. It was a little challenging, but it's there, it's up. It's time to clean this mess and start putting in all the lighting, audio, all audio equipment we're actually not doing yet. So by the time this video goes up, we're probably not increasing or improving audio, but we're gonna uh, get the lighting and the couch and the decorations and we're gonna start working on that stuff. So you're gonna sit back, relax and enjoy the, the transition. <laughs> She has started the decorating process. This is the fun part. I've been dealing with wires all day long, but she's... Oh, and I've been shopping all day long. Yeah. But this is... I, I wouldn't trade. <laughs> yes, you no. You have your job all Not at all. So most of the wiring and lighting is done. We've got a ceiling light. We've even got an overhead camera that eventually will hook up. That's not there now. We got our chat screen, our monitor to run it, this little video switcher thing that... Again, I bought the wrong wire, so not using anytime soon. But look at this couch, 100 bucks on Facebook. Look at that thing, right? And then new pillows and our fake wall, which you've already seen, and now it's time to decorate the wall. Welcome to the studio. It's actually kind of funny because we've been using it for months. I don't know if you guys have even seen it looking like this. See, fake wall, light in the ceiling. That curtain blocks a little bit of the echo. We've got some curtain over there to try to block some echo, but we got this little couch we bought for like a hundred bucks off of Facebook Marketplace. A couple decorations, some of these awesome little decorations like this guy right here have been sent in from some of the villagers. We have that sign 
And what else do we have? What else? Oh, that guy came all the way from Australia. Hang on. Isn't that funny? That that one really drives the dogs crazy. Um, yep, it's not going to stay up. These uh, these bears came from some villagers. I've even got some other hats from some other YouTubers that do not show on live, but I have them here. See, Arms Family is here hanging out with us. We've got Doug from Doug and Stacy here. I've got a homesteady one around here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. What else do we have? We have the back up the station number four camera. So when you guys are watching us live, this is the view we look at here. Here, I'll give you the full view. That's what we are looking at. Main camera right there. So camera one. And if I switch the button here, camera two is all black. And it's actually right there. That's the one that catches, you know, Stella in her little seat here sometimes, sort of. Camera three is this cam right here. Sits on this little post. It's the portable Stella dog camera, which is not on right now. We'll see if it turns back on. If that turns back on, it should come up on screen. There it goes. Just came up on screen. See? So we can go camera one. Camera two is all black. Camera three. Three just went out. Uh-oh. Three went out. These are GoPros. That one. I might even get another GoPro for here to replace that Canon. There, we're using a Sony. It's funny. We're using all different kinds. And then camera four is the one up behind my head. Way up there. And then that's our bathroom we don't really use. And then this is our switcher. It allows me to go from camera one, two, three, and four. Allows me to control microphone volumes. Currently today, we're using this microphone, which is just sitting here on the table, picking up our voices. Someday, we will eventually figure out or upgrade and start using this guy. This is the soundboard that allows me to add sound effects and play around and fun stuff, but we haven't, um, we haven't gone there yet. We haven't used it with these microphones in the ceiling, these two because we get this reverb. We get this back feed of like weird audio into it. And the most important thing that people love, well, people love, that just works out well for us is our chat monitor, which is an old monitor right there that we mounted vertically and it runs all of our chat so we can read while you guys are talking. So that's it, that is the live studio. It took us forever to get this video out. It's been a long time in the making, but if you got any questions about the technology we're using or anything like that, let us know and we'll try to help you out. We're still figuring it out as we go. We have a little light strip back behind the couch. There's a little thing over there that turn it on and off. We do change out the decorations every once in a while as some of our villagers send us stuff. We, we put them up there, but if you wanna become a villager, hit that subscription button Follow us and we'll continue to play and learn and have fun with our live stream and our, and it's really weird watching me on that camera there, on that screen there while I'm talking to you guys here. But yeah, that's it. Video's over. See ya. Mm -hmm.